What's going on YouTube? It's your boy DK Money back with another video, man. I haven't said this in so long, um, but yo, your boy um, is in Thailand right now. You guys probably haven't heard from me in a while on YouTube, especially on YouTube, uh, but I'm always active on Instagram and like other platforms and stuff like that, but I really need to get back on YouTube. I miss you guys, all you guys who continuously show me support. Thank you. Um, but yo, just want to make a quick video, very, very quick video. Um, I just had a fight and I kind of just want to recap it. It was a crazy fight on Misfits. If you guys have seen it, comment down below your thoughts on it. Um, <laughs> your boy got slept again, but you know, it, it's all good, man. So I just want to recap the fight. Uh, shout out to Virus or Virus, ho however you want to say that, man. He was a, it was a great fight, man. I was, I was expecting, to be honest, I was expecting it to be a little bit easier <laughs> than it was just based off of his training footage. But now I know not to judge someone off just pat, like mitt work and like stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, man. Um, so I flew out to London uh, for the fight. And um, yeah, man. So let's get into round one. So round one. So already before the fight, um, a lot of people don't know this, but I, I cut a lot of weight going into the fight. So like my energy was constantly low. I'm not making excuses. I'm, I'm just giving you guys like a little backstory on the entire thing. So I had to cut, I think about 15, 20 pounds throughout the whole camp which it's always sucks because um, like I can't really eat much, you know what I'm saying? And I'm training, like sparring 10, 12 rounds, um, doing bag work, all this other stuff. And my energy is always just low. And uh, you can't really perform like at your peak when your energy is just always low. So I think um, in the future, if, like, if I decide to do another one, um, I need to do it at my natural weight, like which is like 190, 195. I continuously been cutting to like 180. Um, but yeah, man, so round one, I go into it and like already in the locker room, I was hitting mitts in the locker room, like warming up and like my energy was already low. So like, I, I was like kind of worried. I was like, oh man, like <laughs> I was breathing hard in the locker room. Like I wonder how the fight's gonna be. So I get in there round one and that's why um, I was always like, if you watch the fight, I'm gonna react to the fight too after this video. I just wanted to post this for you guys to let you guys know I'm alive. Um, but so round one, like, that's why I was sitting there like holding this hand up the whole time. Like I wasn't really moving or like fainting or doing anything moving wise. If you watch it, like literally, like I was just like this, like the whole fight, just, just trying to counter with the left, the right, whatever. Cause I just had like, literally like, I'm not making an excuse. I'm just being real. I had very low energy. So usually like I'd be moving a lot more and like fainting a lot more moving. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I was literally just holding this hand up and just trying to react off of what he was doing. Um, and it worked a few times, you know, I got a big knockdown, which was crazy. Uh, you guys will see that in the next video when I react to the fight. Um, but yeah, man, so round one, I'm in there and like, you know, like I'm doing good moving, just countering, you know, with the left. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I won round one pretty easily. Um, and then we go to round two and round two, I'm landing big shots. I think to be honest, guys, like after I got hit, I don't remember walking to the locker room. I don't remember walking. Like, I don't remember anything, which is kind of scary. I've never been in that position before. So anyways, round two, I'm in there still energy, even more low. Like I'm taking shots, whatever. And I'm getting like, you know, a little woozy, whatever. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm landing some big left-hand counters. I think I landed like two or three slim was going crazy. The crowd was going crazy. Shout out to everyone who showed up to London for the fight. Um, but anyways, I'm landing all the left hands, boom, big left hands, big left hands. So I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going to try to keep doing these counters. Um, and yeah, after a while, like I just was just countering the whole fight. Like I just wanted to keep countering cause my energy was very low and I didn't like normally like when I would spar, like I would, you know, like I would throw a lot more like combination. So I would get in close, bang, 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 hook, you know what I'm saying? All that. Um, and then, yeah, man. So <laughs> like, I'm literally just trying to counter the entire fight. It was working. It was working. And I land this big counter and I don't know, like Virus hasn't posted anything about it, so I'm not going to say anything about it, but that shot did some damage, like even after the fight, like still doing damage, if you guys, is that you know what I'm saying? You guys know what I'm saying? So I land this huge left hand, and I'm like, damn, so he goes down, this guy gets up within one second, like the Terminator, bro, like that was crazy, shout out to Virus for that, much respect, this guy gets up in a second, I'm like, bro, there's no way, but after the fight, he came and told me that he was very busy, like he, like, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, obviously, that was a huge left hand, 10 ounce gloves, you know? So he obviously felt that he gets up, he tells his coach, he doesn't want to go back in. And then his coach sends him back in. I'm like, oh man, okay, we're still going. And then I try to go for him. I should have remained a little bit more calm throughout that situation and kind of just, you know, kept playing the counters, kept trying to land stuff. But I started to go into Adam attacking more, which is putting me in position to get hit more. So I'm taking some shots 
And then um, he landed some good ones on me already, so I'm, I'm kind of like, you know. And then the whole fight, a lot of people were mentioning this. The ref comes in, and out of the corner of my eye, I see the ref coming in. So I think he's going to come break it up. Mistake on my end, not an excuse. Huge mistake. Huge, huge mistake on my end. Um, and so the ref's coming in, and I hear the 10-second clack or two, so a bunch of stuff's going on in my head. And... So I put my hands down because I thought, when, when, like if you watched the, the fight previously, like the previous rounds, every time the ref came in, I kind of backed up, put my hands down, reset, you know? And I thought that's what was gonna happen. So the ref comes in and I think he's coming in and then the ref just stops. So I put my hands down and this guy Beavers just gets a clean shot with my hands down. My fault, huge mistake. Um, I'll probably never make that mistake again, no matter what. But just like due to the previous breakups, you know, I put my hands down. A lot of people were commenting about it. Um, and yeah, man, a huge mistake on my end. And yeah, I got, I got slept, you know? <laughs> like I actually genuinely do not remember going to the locker room. Apparently, uh, Deji's coach came in and talked to me. Apparently, Virus came in and talked to me. And I don't remember any of that, which is kind of scary. And as you can see, my eye, look at my eye. There's like blood in it still. It's, it's a little bit better than it was. It was really bad right after the fight. Um, but yeah, man. So yeah, I just wanted to come on and do like a little recap. Tell you guys like what I thought. I thought I performed, you know, I'm proud of my performance. Um, yeah, just not, just can't make that mistake again, obviously. Um, but yeah, man, I'm in Thailand right now. Just like enjoying a little bit of time off because I trained for two months straight and then had to cut weight and then the fight. So like to, I, if you guys are boxing or however box in your life, it's a lot of stress because you got, you know, like your coaches, your nutrition, your daily runs, the boxing. So now I'm just in Thailand kind of enjoying it. I might do like a Thailand vlog. Uh, like this video if you think I should do um, a Thailand vlog. I think it'd be pretty cool. I saw some monkeys, was talking to some monkeys, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> but yeah, um, just wanted to do like a little recap, post on YouTube again, let you guys know like I'm alive. Um, and yeah, guys, thank you for all the support, whoever this video reaches, like if it reaches new people. Thank you for the support a lot. I, I gained a lot. I feel like I really gained um, a lot of new people and new fans after that fight, which is, you know, like I'm very grateful for that. And yeah, I'm very grateful for all the opportunities I've had in boxing. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to start doing a lot more YouTube. Um, you guys will be excited about that. Um, but yeah, man, that was pretty much just a recap. And uh, yeah, I think, um, I think I was winning the fight the whole time. <laughs> it's just disappointing that one mistake on my end, just from uh, just a lack of inexperience, especially like, 10 ounce gloves guys like that's professional like people fight for tens of years to even fight in 10 ounce gloves and i'm boxing for a year and a half and i'm fighting in those gloves so yeah man just a lack of uh experience a lot of people were commenting that but yeah man um thank you guys for the support and just wanted to post a little quick video let you guys know you know what i'm saying uh but yeah comment up comment down below some video ideas that you guys want to see um and yeah man i'll see you guys in my next video, which will probably be soon. I'm going to start posting a lot more. Going to go out to Canada with the boys again, start posting. Um, but yeah, man, I love you guys. Thank you for the support. Go watch the fight on DAZN. Comment what you think. And yeah, I'm going to react to the fight probably tomorrow. And then I'm doing an interview with Salt Poppy tomorrow too. I'll post that on my channel. But yeah, man, love you guys. And yeah, I'm alive, you know what I'm saying? <laughs>